Fortnite Battle Royale is a free-to-play game developed by Epic Games that has become a global sensation across PC, Xbox and PlayStation, with a mobile version on the way. Unlike many other popular games, Fortnite plays pretty smoothly on computers with integrated Intel HD graphics, as long as you know what settings to tweak. It is also one of the best optimized games released in the last few years, with very conservative minimum PC requirements and excellent performance on devices across the board, GPU, Intel HD 4000 CPU, Core i3 2.4 GHz RAM, 4 GB RAM If you are trying to play it on a laptop close to these minimum requirements, you might need a bit of help to play smoothly. Let's go into some quick graphical tweaks you can do. I test setups to start, I was curious to try this game in something that was as close to the minimum requirements as possible, so I settled on a Microsoft Surface Pro V1. This was the first x86 2-1 laptop tablet released by Microsoft back in 2013, which kickstarted its highly successful Surface series of laptops. The first Surface Pro came equipped with an i5-3317U, an IV bridge low-voltage dual-core with a base frequency of 1.7 GHz and a max turbo of 2.6 GHz. Since there is no dedicated GPU, it uses the integrated Intel HD 4000. The RAM is 4GB of dual-channel DDR3-1600. It is hard to get much closer than that. Then, I was curious to see how the game would perform on modern integrated graphics, such as the ones packaged and laptops sold in the last couple of years. So I tested the game on the XPS 13 9360 from 2017, which sports an Intel Core i7-8550U, Intel UHD graphics 620 and 8GB of RAM. Using the settings screen Fortnite has an easy-to-read graphical settings screen. The quality setting controls the initial preset, and each separate setting is clearly labeled from its lowest value to the left to its highest value on the right. I highly recommend you ignore the auto setting that is applied when you first start the game and start from the lowest preset. The auto function tends not to work very well when closer to the minimum requirements. Be sure to disable motion blur, which remains enabled on the lowest present. Another important recommendation is to change Windows mode to full screen rather than Windows full screen, as many users have reported very dramatic increases in performance in exclusive full screen mode. Finally, we have the 3D resolution settings, which is basically an internal resolution scaler. Let's dig into the game's files to go into detail about what this does. The configuration file The configuration file for Fortnite is located in your user folder and then update a locale Fortnite game saved config Windows client. The file in question is called GameUserSettings.ini. Since app data is a hidden folder, you might need to enable hidden folders in your file options to reach it. Exclusive full screen mode, which was discussed in the last section, can also be enabled by adding full screen mode equals zero to the first section. The rest of the graphical settings are in a section labeled Scalability Groups and, with the exception of SG, Resolution Quality, they can all be dropped to zero. The remaining line, SG, Resolution quality, controls the internal render resolution of the game, and this can prove quite useful on weaker GPUs. There are two main advantages of reducing internal resolution versus simply changing the external resolution of the whole game. One is that reducing internal resolution does not affect the readability of the UI, and the other is that the low resolution is sampled back at the full render resolution, which is often why they are less jarring to look at. In the game's settings, the resolution slider goes down to only 33.3%. This is much lower than most games with an internal resolution scaler. For example, PlayerUnknown's Battleground, which is usually pitched as Fortnite's biggest rival, goes down to only 70% on the menu. In the configuration file, almost any number is allowed. Let's experiment with the performance and gameplay possible on some of the lower options. Resolution quality set at 20% with an external resolution of 1080, the internal resolution is actually 384 by 216 being sampled back up. The obvious victim of this setting is long distance visibility, with everything after a certain point reduced to a blob of pixels. Fortnite, however, was not unplayable. Far from it. On the performance side, the game managed to maintain a playable 30 to 40 frames per second FPS average on the Surface Pro even in the areas with the most elements. It was also much better on lighter parts of the map. One of the strong points about Fortnite on a low-end device is its visual design. 
the colorful, cartoony nature of the characters and environments actually facilitates playing on low resolutions, especially when compared with more realistic games like PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds, to the point that I could tell enemy players.